any of that shit. It's like them yeah. really flying on on rigs. And then they like uh, like for example the Jesse the kill all of the furniture mm-hmm. and everything is really raised up at the same time off the floor like in real time it's not um, CGI. Wow! Yeah. No way. Uh, just- <laughs> sorry, go say that again. No, it's just like it just looks so good. Like oh yeah, yeah. That's why it looks so good, and this film is going to be timeless because everything you're seeing is real. Uh, I wish people would. That's a fact people need to hear right there. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I wish people would do more of that. Um, Sony intentionally kept the large family dynamic of Sarah and Sid a secret from the general public. Uh, if you watch the, the the trailers that were released for this film, um, none of it um, leads to any... It doesn't give you any peeks to Sid's character, none of the romance stuff, none of that. It's just like, oh yeah, watch these two Joes duke it out and that's it I think it was more of a marketing scheme because they thought that that would have been harder to promote but I think um, they they got yeah they got everybody in the in the seat so good on them good on you Sony Uh, Ryan himself shies away from over explaining the time travel rules in the film as a, t- a technique used to help the audience care more about the characters and how time travel consequences affect them in the long run. Mm. Uh, That's on his part. Yeah, yeah, I think it is. Uh, I think it worked out well in the f- in the favor of the movie. Um, Ryan Johnson actually credits director Chris Nolan for helping inspire him to get this film made. When Inception was released, it was met with acclaim and success, uh, which became a realization that moviegoers were ready for complex films such as Looper. So without Inception, we may have not, uh, you know, Ryan may have not been confident enough to actually push to get something like this made. So uh, that's pretty cool. Wow. And that's it for the Swan Facts. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Oh, nice. Very uh, nice episode. Any more Any more thoughts on Looper, guys? Uh, just it, check it out. If you haven't. Yeah. I, I, I believe there is so many people that haven't checked this out, dude, to be honest. And I was glad to talk to uh, talk about Looper with y'all. It's a fucking dope movie, dude. Mind boggles. If people are into mind-boggling movies, well, don't watch Looper then. But you know, you're missing out. <laughs> do we? What do we rate the film? This for me is an easy nine. Agreed, easy nine for me. How about? Oh, yeah, I, I, yeah. I think I'd have to give it the same thing there. Basically, nines. We're still saying like tens, so it's like because <laughs> this movie, like, dude, man, has a little bit of everything. I thought, like. Yeah, Many that's... movies fail to have a le- that, that little bit of everything, I think. All right. Um, so I wanted to throw in like a kind of out, way out in left field. Th- this film is animated. It's kind of geared toward adults. Let's do Beavis and Butthead to America. <laughs> oh, no. oh, wow. <laughs> oh, dude. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude, I'm so into that. Yeah, let's do that, dude. <laughs> That's going to be fun, dude. Oh, man. <laughs> Which I think it's on... I think it's on Max right now. HBO Max? Yeah. Oh, nice, dude. You're perfect. James, you're awfully quiet, man. Are you disappointed? You're no, disappointed. no. <laughs> no. I, I, think I've, I think I've seen that movie one time. And I don't think I finished it. Uh, <laughs> stoner. Wow, you have so you haven't seen it all the way through. I don't think so. I can't remember. So I, I get that's, it, why yeah. that's why I'm saying I, I'm not sure if I finished it. Okay. Are you um? Are you a Beavis and Butthead fan, or were you not allowed to watch it as a kid, or? Any any idea? Um, I wouldn't say that I'm like a diehard fan. You know um, the phrases. You know the, those. Oh yeah, I know. Everybody knows. I uh, I grew up in the nineties, honey. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I didn't live in a cave. 
I, re- I, I could recite those as a child and never have really like seen an episode or anything. <laughs> but that's because, you know, it, it was so huge, you know, as a child. Uh-huh. But, um, uh, yeah, I'm mean, down for it. I don't, like, that's what I'm saying. I don't know if I haven't, I can't remember if I finished it or not. So that's why I'm saying I didn't finish it. I'm not 100% sure. Well, that's dope because then now we could like fully catch up on it, dude. So it's going to be fully blown for next episode, dude. Beavis and Butthead, dude. Coming to America, dude? No way, Wes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You got to pull out the... Like the first, is this like the first, like sort of like not the animated, but like, like this, like in this fashion for a drop the mic? Like, I know we've done like Pixar and stuff, but like... Oh yeah, huh? We've is Coco the only animated film we've ever done? Yeah. Oh shit. Well, <laughs> well, there you go. A, uh, a milestone episode coming to you next week. <laughs> Second animated episode for Drop the Mic, everybody. Oh yeah. Now. And a kind of fresh watch for James, so it'll be fun. Yeah, to- really fresh. I think it's probably been maybe probably since that movie came out. Can't wait to, uh, I was be... watching like MTV Beavis and Butthead, dude, and that shit just makes me, that shit just ruins me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Gonna be fun. Be... I know some people would be super hella happy that we're doing this. <laughs> well, make sure they know, man. Make sure they tune in. Yeah. I tell people all the time, dude, so. And I, if, you, we, if we got stuff to post for it, even better, dude, like. Uh, we gotta make some Beavis and Butthead like little advertisements for the podcast so yeah definitely get some get some looper ones out while the episode's coming out so yeah I'm I'm, I'm excited dude. hella excited that's gonna be cool it'll be a, a fresh watch for me so yeah I can't wait to pick your brain about it man it'll be <laughs> fun it'll be fun all right, fellas. So is that uh, we're wrapped up in the for the closing the loop episode? I guess we gotta close that loop, dude. Hey. Blunder, bust me out, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I guess we gotta ask James the question, dude, before we shoot. Yeah. So James, yo, uh, where can these people find us? Oh man. So uh, I'm glad you asked that. Um, you can find us pretty much on any single, every single platform that does play podcasts, whether it's iHeartRadio, uh, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, um, Spreaker, uh, YouTube, um, tons of other ones. Um, like I said, we're on pretty much everything that plays podcasts. Um, if you have the time, hopefully you can give us a positive review, a thumbs up, five stars, or whatever the case may be. And uh, if you think you know someone that might be interested in what we're putting out here, uh, hopefully you can, you know, send them a link to our stuff, uh, share it with your, you know, your family, your uh, your friends, your coworkers, whoever it may be, and uh, let them know that we get tons of episodes before this one. So if this wasn't really their cup of tea, you can always go back and uh, and check out our huge uh, archival. Um, episodes that we have and uh, we also have an instagram that me and wes are both attached to we uh, post our weekly recs on there our uh, upcoming episodes so you guys can comment on those that the name of our instagram is at drop the mic underscore podcast like i said me and wes are both attached to that um we'll try to respond to you as quickly as we can uh dm us if you want to ask us to review a specific movie that we haven't done yet um, or just, you know, our opinions on specific movies or, or recommendations that we haven't said if, we, if you want to know if we think we uh, those movies are good or not. So uh, feel free to do that and reach out to us. Hopefully we can uh, get a cool dialogue going. Definitely. Awesome. Pretty nice. That wraps it up. That's a good episode, dude. Yeah, that's fun. Solid touchings on Looper, dude. Definitely watch Looper on Stars right now. Check it out. Yeah. Um, also support uh, support your local theaters as they are 
opening back up now and uh, go get vaccinated and keep wearing your masks and uh, let's move uh, forward. Yes. All right, until ne- next week, gentlemen. Until next week, you guys all be safe, have fun, you know. <laughs> until uh, the next one, dude. Yeah, good fight and good, good night. night. So do you know what's going to happen? You've done all this already? That's me? I don't want to talk about time travel. Because if we start talking about it, then we're going to be here all day talking about it, making diagrams with straws. We both know how this has to go down. I can't let you walk away from this diner alive. This is my life now. I earned it. You had yours already. So why don't you do what old men do and die? Why don't you just take your little gun out between your legs and do it? Boy.